Hey guys, I'm here. Welcome back to the review. And today we are bringing you guys another Five Nights at Freddy's theory. And today we're going to be discussing a light system. Now this is sort of an add-on to the uh, to to the insanity bar theory. If you guys haven't seen that yet, I recommend you guys check it out. Uh, I'm here too, by the way. <laughs> uh, In case you don't know who this is, Ginger Shadow's also here. Um, just but, FYI. Uh, but um. I would also like to say that this is a add-on to the uh, Insanity Bar Theory, which we will have linked in the description as well, uh, along with uh, our channels, of course. Now, the next uh, part to this video I want to bring up is what we think will be in Five Minutes Freddy's 4, and like me and Ginger discussed, we discussed a uh, Insanity Bar. Now, the source of this Insanity Bar, if we want this to happen, we would need a reason for this insanity bar. We, it's not like you just randomly go insane and then the animatronics go like rapid. And when it comes to Five Nights at Freddy's, stress is a pre pretty good way to go insane in that game. I mean, exactly. it happens to people in real life from exactly. playing the game. So exactly. So I feel like the security guards sitting there for five nights solid during the night with for animatronics for trying six to kill hours. them. Hours. Yeah. Definitely um, feel like that could drive you a wee bit nutty. But, um, our, our prediction about this is that there might be some sort of light system. Now, if you all know, in Amnesia, there, um, which we also brought up in the last theory video, is that, uh, if it goes dark, your insanity goes higher, like, you go, you go insane, and that causes you to get dizzy, you start tripping out, basically, um, you get wheezy, like, you get slower, and, like, all that kind of stuff. And, uh, our predictions is that maybe there's some sort of light system in this game, where, uh, sort of like in Five Minutes Freddy's 1, where, uh, except for your office is going to be pretty dark. It's going to be a pretty dark office, and that causes your insanity to go maybe down, I mean up, which makes it so that you go insane. And the only way to stop that from happening is by turning on a light of source of some sort, which uh, causes it to go back down, which makes you normal again. Still, you can still die and all, but it, it causes it to be less, uh, I should say, dramatic and easier to survive, because... When you when you start going insane, you're gonna start going dizzy. You're gonna start seeing the animatronics in nightmare form rather than their normal form. And the environment. Yeah, the weird, mad ones from hell that have got the bits coming out of them, and, and the, the many teeth. ones coming out of them, and the mad teeth. Which it's uh, not a good way of describing them, just all of them completely mental. Which is like a slash hallucination slash real threat. Um, but our thing is, is that maybe there's some sort of light system. And when you use that light, it uses up power, and you only have a set time that you can use that light. And um, if you use too much of the light, you can't use it anymore. There's no way to fix it. Um, and basically, you'll start going insane. And for the rest of the night, maybe you'll be in some sort of nightmare state. And the more and more that you, you're, you're insane, the longer you're insane, the harder and harder it gets. And basically, not only do you have to worry about the animatronics in nightmare mode, which basically means that they they're, they look scarier, uh, they can attack you in different ways. Um, basically, you get you, you go blurry. Basically, um, maybe you are slower. Like when you you know how you can move your head around fast. Maybe you move your head really slow. Uh, to check from side to side. You can't. Obviously, these are just possibilities of things that could happen. Yeah, like we we have no like solid evidence. In, yeah. We have no solid but evidence this will be in the game. This is just. We do have a reason why we're suggesting the idea of insanity, of light and stuff. And why we keep bringing up things like amnesia, it's just simply because of the word nightmare getting used quite a lot. And like we the said, that these things are horrific, things are horrible. It's the final game, Scott's going to put a lot into this. He's got tons of ideas to go with. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, going back to the power thing, he might add in something that's kind of classic, back to the original where you've got a power meter. And like even the second game, you had a torch, which didn't work after thingy appeared. But you did have a limited battery in it, so... yeah. You know, going back to power meter again. Which the whole point of that was to stop Foxy. It was only used for one animatronic, really. So, I mean, it, it, it was pretty, uh... It was, it was pretty useless for the most part, unless if Foxy was not in... If Foxy was in the game, the, the flashlight would be useless. But, uh, seeing some sort of light system in the fourth game, I'm pretty sure. Because there's basically always been a light system in all the games, except for the third game. Um, the third game, they had the ventilation, and they had the... Like for the power for the screens and power for the sound and stuff. So, no light system, but they had powers for just about everything else. God. And like we said, if the, if um, there's theories going around too that the, the third game or I mean the fourth game, excuse me, there, uh, will have different locations where maybe 
for five nights you're there, for five nights you're there, for five nights you're there. Maybe there's different uh, possibilities of different tactics over time that can happen to cause insanity through these different places. Maybe one place would be light in. Maybe one place would be the, looking at the animatronics too long. Maybe one place... It, these are all just ideas, of course. These are all just ideas. None of this is solid evidence that this will be in the game. These are just simply ideas that we think... So just linked off the idea of Nightmare being a big part of it. Yeah. The idea of insanity being in it because animatronics do drive you crazy. The last game had hallucinations and stuff, so it's just kind of piecing bits together, possible ideas for the fourth game. Stuff we want to see personally. But, yeah, personally stuff that sounds really cool. Personally, I would love to see an insanity bar. I'm pretty sure a lot of Five Minutes Race fans would love to see that too. Love to see the light system back as well. Exactly. Limited uh, power, the pressure's on, you got to watch what you're doing. Not, not gonna lie, Five Minutes Freddy's 3 kind of felt a little bit empty inside and it felt like a filler game. So, um... Saying that all along. So, see, seeing this happen again with the, the fourth game and seeing the light system back, uh, seeing different stuff, maybe a power generator back again. Who knows, maybe we might spend five nights again at the first game, but this time things will be a bit different because as you all know, in Five Nights at Freddy's 3, there's actually a mini game in that which will actually uh, cause it to, uh, which you see Purple Man literally rip apart these animatronics. And note how in Five Nights at Freddy's 1, Bonnie is purple, and in that mini game, Bonnie is blue. So maybe I think we're straight. I think we're trailing off that Bonnie theme here. I, I know. I, I, the I, riot starts. I know, but think about just confirmed Bonnie's actually part, um, pink. So, <laughs> but but think about this. Maybe maybe um, th th in that certain theory with the insanity maybe you'll see that you know how bonnie's purple in the thing you go back another time to the first location and all the obviously maybe the characters got redesigned at some point uh um and so this is just what you want to see in the game you want to see a blue and a purple body in the game no no i don't want to see both of them <laughs> at the same time but i mean no, you want you want to see both of them you want to have a purple body in the game you want to have a, a blue body in the game a it's bonnie... two different separate characters but you want them both to be in there Maybe going back to Five Minutes Freddy's one location, seeing Bonnie in a blue hue instead of a purple hue, uh, because it would be kind of cool. And not to mention uh, the fact that with that insanity bar, which causes, and that's the reason why Bonnie is blue in the teaser image on his website. Maybe you might go back to the Five Minutes Freddy's one building again. We don't know for sure. All possibilities. And, that, and, and what like, time will tell is more little sneaky bits and pieces come out about the game. Scott gives us a few more leads. Gives us a few more sneak previews, trailers. We'll get more as time goes. But um, I, I really feel like this is a good closure to the theory. Well, like, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that we'll have some sort of light system back in the game? What do you guys think? Well, um, comment down below what you guys think. If you like our theory, then leave a like. Um, and if you are new to our channels, then why not hit that subscribe button? I'll have Ginger's channel in the description below, along with his. I'll be doing the same. Yeah. Uh, but until next time, guys, we'll see you all later. Peace out.